Uh, hi, Matt. No, not another one of you guys. Do you have a copy of the Necronomicon I can borrow? Hi, my name's Matt Fickner, uh, Puppet Master Matt, I sometimes go by. Uh, I'm a jack of all trades when it comes to creative stuff, and I'm also the creator of the Creepy Puppet Project. Uh, when I was in uh, junior high school, uh, in art class, and uh, the teacher basically said to me, look, I can't teach you anything. Here, take the keys to the cupboard and go nuts. Use whatever you want. So that's kind of where the insanity really began. You're recording. Hey, hey you're recording. He's recording. Yeah, so this is, this is Val. This is one of the first zombie puppets I actually ever made. So um, he's actually initially, he's sculpted out of clay, and then he's painted and refined and uh, given all kinds of different uh, paint glazes and stuff, so he's got that nice slimy... I like all slimy. I like the fact that it's weird. I like the fact that it's different, that it's not the norm. I'm not doing um, a normal get up, go to work, sit at a desk, drink coffee, go to the water cooler, file papers, do that kind of stuff. When people run in circles, it's a very, very... Inspiration behind uh, the It's a Mad World, a uh, little creepy puppet video I did. Um, for me, like most artists, uh, I think there's certain times in your life where you're trying to express what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and what you're going through. That song always resonated with me, and I thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to do a creepy puppet project version of it. There's always been a rumor that, you know, oh, puppetry and practical effects are, are, are dying out because, oh, you know, they're all going to be replaced with CGI. I know many actors who would say, I'd much rather act with a guy in a suit or a puppet or something of that nature that's real, that's tangible, that's in front of me, and not just a golf ball on a stick. It is a very small niche market for the types of things that, uh, that I do. Uh, as most professional puppeteers say, if it was any harder, nobody would do it, but if it was any easier, anybody would do it. It's rewarding to take an idea from concept in your head to designing it, creating it, putting it out there, sculpting it, building it, making it tangible, and then beyond that, bringing it to life as a living, breathing character. 